Welcome. This is a simple tutorial on how to install and use WordCruncher to then use the Book of Mormon Voices file. The first thing you'll want to do is go to wordcruncher.com, and from here you'll be able to install the app. So just here on the main page you'll see that install the app, and if you click that then it will take you to the next screen where you'll be able to go through the steps of installing onto your computer. The program works on Windows computers, so if you'll go down to the Windows PC, you can select the Windows version that you need. Your computer will then start downloading this file, and you'll see it's doing it right down here at the bottom left. Once it's finished loading, you can click it or double click it, and then that will open it on your computer. There will still be a few more steps to install. From here, I'll click yes, I want to install this. And then click OK. And then it will continue setting up on your computer. You can click through these buttons. Make sure that you accept the license agreement. And then install it onto the computer, which sometimes takes a few minutes, but it shouldn't take too long. And then right before I click finish, I'm going to launch it just so that you can see what the program looks like in action. So now it's opening Word Cruncher on my computer. I don't want any of these screens right now, so I'm just going to close out of them and we'll get into actually searching. So once you have it downloaded and installed on your computer, you're going to want to go to File, and then WordCruncher Bookstore. And from here, you'll be able to see lots of different books that are available. But what we want to do is just go to the search, and I'm going to search Voice, because we want the Voices one. From here, you'll click Free, and then Install All. We want both of those. And now they're installed, you'll be able to open. I'm just going to make this bigger so you can see it better. So right now, it defaults by going in text order. So just as an example, if I search name, and you'll search it right there in that find. If I just search name, it will now show me just in chronological order in the Book of Mormon where that appears. But what we want to do is actually search who is speaking by voice. So to do that, if you click on, you'll see the tab here that says the Book of Mormon with voices identified. If you click on that, that takes us back to the top of the screen and you'll want to click on voice order. So now it's going to be in voice order of who is speaking in the Book of Mormon, which is the one we want. So I'm gonna search again, just go to that search with the magnifying glass and this time I'll search baptize. So when I search baptize and then hit enter, it now shows who is speaking. So for example, Alma the Elder, the Alma with the one subscript, that is two times that he said the word baptize. And you'll see Jesus Christ uses it a lot. And the ratings here in this column, the rating comes from statistical calculations based on the number of words that the person speaks in the Book of Mormon. So if we assume that the use of baptize is equally distributed by the proportion of how many words a person speaks, that's when you'll be able to tell the rating. So for Jesus, we see that his rating is 10 right there. And the green bar is the words he actually speaks in the Book of Mormon. And then the red is the results, which is way more than we would anticipate. And then you can see down here that Mormon, although he does speak that word 56 times. He also speaks more times overall than Jesus. That green, he speaks a lot more than the green on Jesus, but he doesn't actually use it as much. That's why his rating is lower, 1.91. So if you also go and see where you have one that's negative, like Alma the Younger here, that means that he uses it relatively little compared to what we would expect. And then down here on the far right bottom corner, you'll see the total number of references. That's how many times total it's used. And 
that is how you can use and use the different search features. And I hope that this will be a great resource that brings you a lot of spiritual enlightenment.